And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. So hey, this is called Are You Smarter Than Your Parents? That's provocatively titled enough, isn't it? Um, it based on maybe, uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Here it says, 101 trick questions for your kids, 8 to 12. Okay, so great. I thought this was a game. It's not a game. I think it's just some trivia here, but it's packaged kind of as a game maybe. Uh, so let's take a look in here and see what it's like, and then we'll continue. So here's the can. Are you smarter? Oh, gift inside. Well, I've already taken the gift out. It's a bit of a, a, a keychain here. Proud member of the Smart Club. You can put your name on it. Anyhow, you open the, the lid up here, and it has one of these, you know, poppable cans. Makes me think of uh, tennis balls. Uh, which, and these are very sharp. I need to get rid of this. I only have it here to show you. And then inside are plenty of these questions. Um, although not as many as you might think because about the, half the can here is filled with this. This is cool. You could use this fight for terrain or something for a game. But anyhow, each of these questions, there's really no rules. I mean, you're just supposed to play and you pull the tab. So here, for example, what does the wolf hunt? I don't know. What does the fox say? Rabbits, frogs, or elephants. So I'm going to guess elephants, because that seems logistic. And, oh, no, it's rabbits. Well, that's surprising. Uh, word, why do sea turtles sometimes return to land? Oh, that one I know. Uh, to lay their eggs. I saw a movie about that. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, good. So I'm two for two right now. How do we say sparrow in French? Oh. Well, that's no good, because I don't know how to say sparrow. Animals, anything in French. So let's just guess here. Hmm. Lutin. That sounds like a bird. Lut. We'll go with that. Ah, uh, that was my next guess, Monet. Anyhow, that's how you play. So you can see as time goes by, you're going to have piles of these that are open. I suppose you could put them back in and use them again, but uh, they kind of once used things. The questions range from, I, I don't know. There's a lot of geographical ones and a lot of an, uh, animal ones in here. Um, can the condor hover for hours? Well, probably. Which of the following countries is not an island? Some of them seem to be incredibly easy. Others are much harder. I mean, if you don't know French, or where is the patella located? In the knee, in the neck, or in the shoulder? I don't even know what the, the, the patella is. I probably should though, shouldn't I? Uh, oh, now I know it's in the knee. All right, so that's it. That's what comes in here. I think there's limited replayability, um, but I guess you could put all these back in there and just try not to look at them when you've opened them. As I said, this is really not a game, so that's unfortunate. But now you know. Now you know and what it is. And I mean, really, I don't see what, what the big deal about this is. Here we have a can, which takes up a decent amount of space, which has 101 questions, and which could have been put into a thin book or a deck of cards or something that took up less space. The, the pulling of the tabs, I won't lie, there's something satisfying to that to some degree, but they're really boringly done. The questions are really boring and all over the place. This held my kids' attention so short, almost shorter than anything else. Asking questions, oh, yay. And the ones they knew, ooh, they know it, and the ones they don't, they don't know it. And are you smarter than your parents? Doesn't really mean much in this context. Like I said, there's no game in here, and this could be done by on iPhone, you know, an app on an iPhone or this. I wasn't very impressed with this. There's quite a few different kinds of these. Um, again, I thought it was a game uh, where you get questions, so I thought I would review it anyhow. Uh, but I'm not impressed. I like trivia. I think it's good to have kids thinking and stuff, but this is very limited. 101 questions. They get that at school. And then it said on here, trick questions. How are these trick questions? Um, what is the use of vaccinations? To fight against diseases or to warm up our body? How is that a trick question? And is there any kid out there who thinks vaccinations are used to warm up their bodies? I, I don't know. So, nah. Not a game, but not even really a fun teaching tool either. Dice Tower Judgment? No. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. 
Shut the door. Boop.